Today we're gonna to make a clay owl out of our clay, so it's gonna be a flat piece. And this sample right here has been fired in the kiln, so fired at 2,000 degrees, and now it's called bisqueware. So it's, you can hear it, it's hard, it's like glass. And then we have these general instructions to give you a reminder on the steps. And then we're gonna have a paper towel, your clay, we're gonna have a little bowl of slip and water, and then we're gonna use a marker for some texture. So step one, we're gonna tear off a small piece of clay about marble size for the beak. So I'm gonna tear off a little bit of this clay, kind of set it aside. So I've got two pieces of clay. Two, roll the larger piece into a ball, then flatten like a cookie. So I'm gonna set this one aside, take this large one and roll it into a ball. You can roll it in your palms like this. You can roll it onto the table like that any way you want to make a ball. And if you have these big creases, you can kind of take your thumb or finger and get rid of them. Um, but you can have a few of those. A few is not gonna do anything to your project. So I've got a ball and now I'm gonna flatten it like a cookie. So when I flatten it, I like to use the palm of my hand and then I think it's much easier to stand because if you stand and press, you'll be able to flatten it even more. So I'm flattening it like a cookie and it's about finger finger thickness. And then you're gonna take your slip water, dip your finger in it, and you're gonna go around the edges. And what we're doing now is we're getting rid of any kind of cracks, anything like that um, on your project. Because we want it to be nice and smooth because, because it will look really pretty that way. And it's not gonna hurt you because right now our clay is super, super soft and we can bend it and we can move it around. But next week it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be like glass. And we don't want any rough areas around the edges that could, you know, possibly cut you or somebody else in your family. So I've got that smoothed out. Then we are ready for the triangle piece. So we're gonna pinch in, um, this extra piece into a triangle and then press it onto our cookie shape. shape. So we've got a, our little circle here. We're gonna, I like to, before I make the triangle, I like to make it into a little ball. And that makes it a lot easier um, for me to pinch it. And then what you're gonna do, this is probably the hardest part, but you're gonna take your pincher fingers and kind of pinch the clay. And then you're gonna take your other finger and kind of push this. So you see how it's kind of creating a triangle. Then I give it a little squish. And I've got a little triangle here, or a big triangle. If that's too big for you, I'm actually, Gonna take a little bit of it off because I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and I've got a few little cracks in here. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take my finger and smooth it out. Okay, so you notice I didn't use a lot of water, just a little water so it absorbs into the clay. I always think about like when I'm adding water to my clay, it's like adding lotion to your skin. You don't wanna have like a big blob of white lotion on you. You wanna rub it in so it's the same thing with clay. Now, where I wanna attach it was right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do before I attach it, I'm gonna create like a little, this is called scoring the pot. And it's making like little hashtags on your paper, on your clay, okay? What's gonna, it's gonna do, it's gonna kinda lock the two pieces together. So I'm gonna take this side and that side, the two rough sides, place it on each other, and give it a little push. Then you can use your thumb or your finger and kind of blend it. You always want to blend everything into the clay because if you just stick it on, sure, it's going to stay today, but it will eventually pop off. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be like one solid piece of clay. Now I'm going to add a little more slip and this is going to even smooth it out even more. And remember, you want to rub it in. Don't just leave it shiny. And that is on. That's not gonna fall off at all. And the final detail is to add all your details, like your eyes and feathers. And I'm gonna use the marker for this. So on mine, for the eyes, I'm gonna use this end here. I'm gonna press in and lift it up. Press in and lift it up. I didn't go all the way through. And then for the feathers, I can use this end here. So I can just, I kind of slightly tilt it so it's kind of on its edge and I make my little feather.
and it's okay to have it not perfect. It's a great thing about clay. So I've got feathers there. I'm gonna use this tool and I'm gonna make, let me hold it up for you. I'm gonna make an impression. I'm pressing it down, I'm not cutting it. I'm gonna have some more feathers around the eye detail. So I'm just pressing it down, not cutting it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then I will have my clay ready for next time. So, and then the last thing is we will, you, when you bring it up to me, we'll write your name and, cla and um, class code on here or your initials. So if your initial was BR, so your first name started with B and your last name started with R, you would write, you would tell me that and I would write it on the back and then I'd write K dash and your code. So I hope you enjoy this.